Hi everyone. Welcome back to the third part of the assignment. If you join right now, then I would read it once again that we are working on dual compressor student exercise of Logix Pro. We are done with the part one of this exercise, which was single compressor operation, and uh, where a single compressor, single pump was uh, maintaining the storage tank pressure which was set on 120 psi and the span was uh, 20 psi and we have seen that it was capable to run very effectively and it was maintaining the pressure of the storage tank in the second part of the exercise uh, we are asked to implement a logic of um, uh, alternating compressor when load is light I mean we need to keep a uh, flow rate same modest light load uh, then switch one by one so we have seen that we implemented that logic and we have seen that uh, both compressor C1 and C2 both were switching one by one and maintaining the pressure of the storage tank and uh, though there was a demand low demand uh, when there was a light demand of airflow in the third assignment uh, we are asked to evaluate or observe that when you will increase uh, the flow rate discharge rate to 78 percent 80 or more than 82 percent you will see one compressor is not capable to maintain the storage tank you will see the pressure will continuously drop down to uh, to the lower level even below than the lower level so if it continue it may go to zero zero so in this case we need to get help of idle uh, compressor to help the other uh, working processor to maintain the pressure or to fulfill the high demand here of the plant so it is viewers it is pretty simple um, we need to modify our program to uh, to detect whether the temperature is if it is the if, if if the pressure is continuously dropping down then we should turn both compressor on to bring uh, the temp uh, the pressure back to the uh, set values and if the demand is low it should work normally if demand is very modest <coughs> 50 percent then they sh uh, both processor uh, both compressors should share the uh, loads they i mean they should turn on one by one to maintain to maintain and mm, to maintain the pressure and uh, the other one will be getting cool the, i mean and then one 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 will be uh, working one will be maintaining the other one will be having sufficient time to get cool to get back to the normal relax high, in other words so if the uh, pressures drop start drop down then it should turn on other uh, other compressor should turn on and help to maintain that's all about what all we need to do is we have already done up to this point so it is very simple we need to bring a loop over sorry we need to bring a loop over here one and we need to detect pneumatic wall pressure pneumatic pressure wall 2 over here uh, it's at PE2 PE2 and also we need to bring one over here which is PE1 added symbol PE pneumatic electric wall one pressure electric pneumatic electric wall one pressure electric pneumatic wall two and uh, I think that's all about delete this uh, and switch to the programming mode download run let's press start and see yes now we can see here At the beginning, as it has been explained, both uh, both uh, compressors should 
turn on and will bring the storage pressure to the level as you can see over here uh, once you have created your program download it and thoroughly test it at these two different uh, rate flow and uh, observe that um, at the beginning where it was mentioned yeah it is likely that your modification will also result in both campuses being run when system first started so it is happening here it's perfectly working now when it will lead to the set point which is 120 psi both process uh, compressor I'm, I'm very sorry uh, uh, I apologize I'm continuously repeatedly using word processor because I am uh, my background is uh, microcontroller and processor programmer and this is just for fun I'm doing it so I'm sorry for that and now you will see when it's read to the set point both both compressor turned off and now at this modest uh, flow rate which is 50% uh, of uh, the pressure there is a 50% demand of air we will see one compressor is capable to maintain and there will be sh switching vice versa when there is a low demand or oh, this is first time it will run and let's see why it happened so next time the other one should turn on which is uh, the even one I mean this one should turn on now pump 2 should turn on should maintain let's see what gonna happen which will well um, the compressor one turn on next time the other one should turn on you have to observe that uh, how we are detecting it's uh, uh, the storage tank pressure is continuously dropping down or no so this is what we have been asked if you see here if it is dropped down to the 98 percent then we should uh, get help of the other compressor so this is how we got that functionality and to implement okay so now this time now before that it will turn both will turn on because one of this and this one is on well, again both will turn on I, I think yeah so hold a second I'll try to bring okay viewers there was a small uh, mistake and our modification which I made over here you need to put concentration on it that um, uh, I added one uh, pressure pneumatic wall E2 in series of this one which ensure that when there is a modest demand of air or a light demand of air both compressor will be sharing the load one by one other one will be letting cool the other uh, and the first one will be trying to maintain the pressure of the tank as you can see over here the pump one is maintaining right now and when mm, when there is a uh, 50 percent of airflow they will be sharing the load as I mentioned earlier you will see you now this will take its turn now so let's see
yes perfect so this one is now trying to maintain the storage pressure tank uh, the pressure of the tank and uh, the correspondence uh, LED indicator is also on and system is running now uh, when there is a high demand of uh, air uh, in other words there is a high rate for high flow rate more than 80% and which is uh, which is beyond the capability of one compressor to maintain then both compressor will be running and maintaining the storage tank pressure right now it's 50 percent and they are sharing the load now i'm going to increase to 78 percent first it was 78 percent now you can see um, though it's uh, slight slowly increasing trying to put more effort to maintain the storage tank pressure at 78 percent now ideally pump c1 should now take over to maintain the pressure yeah fine okay now increase to 80 percent we increase the flow rate to 80 percent we can see it is not capable to increase though it's not uh, letting it to go down but it is not capable also to increase or uh, to take it up to the set point so regardless the other should turn on so if if it allows dropping down then condition is that if it drop down then it will this this idle idle processor or idle compressor will detect it and it will try to help the first one which is running to maintain the storage tank pressure so let's increase it and it's, it's not decreasing right it's the pressure over here is not decreasing right so it meant it is though it is constant it's not increasing but it is not decreasing also so condition that we m implemented it should detect which was the constant over here PE2 should detect the system pressure if descending then it should force this pump 2 to take over so let's increase to 82 percent as we can see it start decreasing we will increase this further increase that further now the second compressor should detect and hit detected and it is there it's turning it on and both are trying to maintain the pressure of storage tank when it will reach they will switch off that's why that was pretty simple I hope you would have understand this whole logic this is very pretty simple only four runs are there and we have got done our part three of the exercise stay tuned and hope you would have enjoyed stay tuned for the last part of the assignment bye bye